Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Why has the photolithography machine become the nuclear weapon of the game between major powers? A chip can determine whether a mobile phone is fast or not, and whether a computer is strong or not. However, the core equipment for making chips the photolithography machine has 90% of the global market firmly controlled by ASML of the Netherlands. What about China? It was once stuck in the neck, and even 28 nanometers equipment had to be bought at a high price. Now, the situation has changed. China has broken through from 28 nanometers to 7 nanometers which has made ASML panic. What's going on? In the workshop of Shanghai Microelectronics, in 2024, one SSA 800 photolithography machine after another will come off the production line, which can make 28 nanometers chips, and the price is only one-third of ASML, about 8 million US dollars. This is not a small fight. According to the data of the China Semiconductor Industry Association, as of 2025, more than 50 units of this equipment have been sold and installed in the production lines of SMIC and Huohong Semiconductor. It controls 80% of the domestic 28 nanometers photolithography machine market. ASML is having a hard time. Orders for mature processes have been squeezed down, and profits are like a slide. Back then, an ASML machine cost hundreds of millions of yuan, and Chinese companies had to queue up to buy it. Now that domestic products are rising, the price is affordable, and it is affordable to use and buy. Who doesn't love it? This feeling of going from depending on others to standing up straight will make anyone excited. But the story of lithography machines is far more than 28 nanometers. Huawei, a giant that has been suffocated by U.S. sanctions, used its stubbornness to rely on ASML's old DUV lithography machine to produce a 7 nanometers Kirin 9020 chip. You heard it right, 7 nanometers. This matter can be traced back to Huawei's Qingpu R&D base. Engineers used multiple exposure technology to squeeze the machine to the limit. A chip had to be exposed 28 times, and the pattern accuracy was raised to a new height. Huawei's 2024 patent document said that this trick relied on AI algorithm optimization to reach a yield of more than 50%. What is a Jedi counterattack? This is it. From the EUV lithography machine being banned to self-reliance, Huawei's operation is a real-life counterattack blockbuster. ASML was dumbfounded, and the market value of DUV equipment had to be recalculated. To make chips, it is not enough to have a lithography machine, but also to keep up with the photoresist. In the past, this thing was imported from Japan, and the price was so expensive that people wanted to curse. In 2024, Chinacom Technology and the Institute of Chemistry of the Chinese Academy of Sciences held back a big move. 193 nanometers RF photoresist was mass produced, with a purity of up to 99.9999%, and the price was only one third of Japan's Shinetsu chemical. According to a report from the Chemical Industry Society of China, this photoresist has been used in SMIC's 28 nanometers production line and Changshan storage's. 19 nanometers dram production line, 
with an annual supply of 500 tons. From being stuck to making it yourself, this step is really steady. The market of Japanese suppliers has shrunk, and ASML supply chain ecology has also shaken. Isn't this just shooting oneself in the foot? Let's talk about something more exciting. The National Comprehensive Science Center in Huairo, Beijing, built a high-energy synchrotron radiation source, referred to as HEPS, in 2024. This thing can produce X-rays with a wavelength of 0.1 nanometers, which is 10 times brighter than ASML's EUV light source. It is expected to be used for atomic-level lithography in the future. Data from the Institute of High Energy Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences show that the circumference of this device is 1.5 kilometers. Although it is currently low power and only suitable for small-scale production of military chips, its potential is so great that ASML has to consider it. From catching up to partial leadership, China is in the rhythm of overtaking on a curve. Think about the future. Domestic chips may be able to directly use atomic-level technology. Who wouldn't be excited? But do you think this is all China's credit? The United States also helped. In September 2024, the U.S. Department of Commerce upgraded the export ban on lithography machines to China and ASML's EUV equipment and key component maintenance services were all blocked. What's the result? The 2025 report of the International Semiconductor Industry Association said that China's global market share of 28 nanometers and above process chips will soar from 20% in 2023 to 60% in 2024. China's chip exports will also rise, reaching 95 billion US dollars in 2024, a year-on-year -year increase of 30%. What is this called? Shooting oneself in the foot. China is forced to accelerate self-sufficiency and ASML's Chinese orders are like a kite with a broken string, and its revenue has plummeted. This situation, anyone who sees it has to say, ASML, it's over. From 28 nanometers to 7 nanometers, from lithography machines to photoresists, and then to the budding of next-generation technology, China's semiconductors, have been like a cheat in recent years. Shanghai Microelectronics Mass Production, Huawei's breakthroughs, Huaro's light sources, every step is solid. The US ban wants to block China, but it makes domestic products more competitive. Isn't ASML's darkest moment the highlight moment of China's core? Support domestic products and pay attention to domestic chips. China's core is rewriting the future with strength.